Hey guys, welcome back to Vegan Outreach. I'm Kim from Bramble.com and it's almost Halloween. And today I'm teaching you how to make my yummy Coco Choco spiders, mini bats, and monster eyeballs. Let's get started. The great thing about this recipe is that everything happens in a food processor and then we get to do the fun part, which is decorating our little monsters, right? So we're gonna start with some dates. These are pitted dates. This is gonna act as the sticky base. Next, we need to add a little bit of body. So these are some ground almonds. We need our coconut, of course, because these are Coco Choco eyeballs and bats and spiders. So we're gonna add that in. These are essentially gonna be little truffles that we're gonna get to decorate. So much fun. We need some cocoa powder for that chocolate. Pinch of sea salt. Whenever you're using cocoa powder or chocolate, it's really gonna help boost the flavor. I love adding some vanilla extract. and some maple syrup. I like to keep a little bit of water right near where I'm working, just in case the mixture is a little bit dry. This will depend on how dry your dates were, but we're gonna process this first, see if the consistency is the way I like it, and if not, we can add a little bit of water to kind of smooth it out. So let's pulse this a few times. We want a grainy texture that we can kind of press together. Now this is nicely ground up, but it's a little bit sandy and we want it a little stickier. And that means we need to add a little bit of that water. So anywhere between one and two tablespoons. I have about one and a half tablespoons here. And we're gonna pulse again. Now we have this really sticky kind of consistency. It's perfect. Now we're gonna take our mixture and we're gonna form little balls. I like to make them all and have them all be the same size and then we can decorate them really, really quickly. We're making four of each kind and we're gonna use different coatings for each. So I have some vegan chocolate sprinkles for our little spiders because we want them to look hairy. And we've got some coconut for our eyeballs and our bats, but you can mix and match this however you like. So now that they're nice and soft, it's a great time to roll them in the sprinkles and in the coconut to make sure that these stick really well. Now for the ones with coconut, I don't want it all the way around, but kind of only on the top to kind of get some little hairs on these. Now it's time to finish decorating these with all of the wings and legs and eyes. So for the wings of our mini bats, we're using halved mini Oreos. And all you have to do for these is just scrape off the you know little cream inside and cut them in half. That's really easy. Now for our spider legs, we're gonna use licorice. So you take a little licorice stick, we're gonna use a pair of scissors to cut kind of little strips until you get these kinds of little legs right here. Now we need some googly eyes, of course, and store-bought googly eyes many times have gelatin, which isn't vegan, but we can make ours really easily with some fondant. Fondant you can find at any supermarket in the kind of bakery area, and it's kind of like these little sugary Play-Dohs, and it's really easy to kind of handle. You just have to make them by hand, a couple of little eyes, and that's it. And it's really easy to find, and it's basically just made out of sugar and some starch. So I have a little bit here. We're going to make three different types of eyes. We're gonna make big round eyes for our monster eyeballs. We're gonna make small long eyes for our mini bats, and we're gonna make small round eyes for our spiders. A great tool to use, especially for the tiny, tiny ones, is a toothpick. It's really gonna help you put the little black circle in the center of your eye. Now 
Now you can make your eyes ahead of time and if they dry out a little bit, all you have to do to make them stick to your little truffles is put a little bit of water on the back. Now we get to stick in our little legs, four on each side, of course. The great thing about these little truffles is they're super soft, so you can kind of reshape them if they lose their round shape. You can add extra sprinkles if a lot of them came out. Really easy. Now let's get started with our mini bats. Halved Oreo cookies, mini Oreos of course, and we just stick them in and press. Our eyeballs are so easy. Just one big googly eye right in the top. That's it guys, a delicious spooky treat for this Halloween. I hope you make them at home and that your Halloween is extra spooky, sweet, and delicious. Happy Halloween guys from all of us here at Bramble. See you soon.